Hi, traders. Welcome back to the Village Trader Chats. I'm your host, Njabul Ntibande. I'm also host of the Village Trader Podcast, a podcast I host chatting with other traders, learning from them and that sort of thing. Um, I also do a live webinar with Simon Brown every Wednesday evening, 5.30. Do join us. We, we, we do that live on Zoom. Link, link to that in the description below as well. Um, a quick thank you, thank you, thank you very much to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I've had my first uh, milestone, 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, with that being said, please do subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any, any of these videos. Do drop a like to this video if you like um, to support the boy because it helps me quite a bit. Um, without any further ado, let's get straight into some charts. Uh, to start with, um, I don't know if, if you knew, I, 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 I trade a system called the laser system. The system was designed by Simon Brown. Fairly simple. If the 30 is above the 60, I want to be long. And inversely, if the 30 is below the 60, I want to be short. And my trigger is priced through that 15-day exponential moving average. So, fairly simple system. Confirmation is a close above the clicker above the close of the trigger candle so i had a close here on the 28th of uh, i believe that was last friday or last thursday or something of that sort um i had a close uh, a trigger on citrix 40 it didn't confirm uh because the confirm was supposed to be closed above the close of this candle but that didn't happen in fact uh we closed below the 15 day exponential moving average which failed um the trigger um, so we had another trigger today. So now we have to wait for a confirmation. And so we're looking for a close above, what is it, 58.65 before um, a close below that 15-day exponential move on average. So if we have a green day tomorrow, that would confirm, in which case I'll enter into this position. I'm already in uh, um, this trade. Uh, it's a trade that I entered quite a while ago. Um, I think um, that's where I entered, uh, confirmed, um, I added into this position here, trigger, confirmation, um, so I'm having another trigger here, waiting for a confirmation, um, stop loss, a, a close below that 50 day, um, that 60 day exponential moving average, um, uh, but I, I do have an emergency to stop loss, so the emergency to stop loss is just from, like, if, you know, something happens and I'm not in front of my computer or something of that sort. I have an emergency stop that will take me out um, uh, at, at a loss. I do update it just similarly to how I update um, uh, my, my my stock tra my, my stock trades. So yeah, but I'm not I'm not as aggressive on uh, moving that emergency stop because I you know frequent uh, I look at charts pretty much every day. Um, if you're hearing some rain, I do apologize. It's raining cats and dogs out here in the east end. Um, so yeah, do apologize for that. Hopefully you can't hear the rain. Next on the list, it's a trade that I've um, been long for a while, man. That was it had a beautiful cup and handle broke uh, a couple of on Monday, and the results came, and it had a stellar, a stellar couple of days. Um, the share up uh, three, uh, th just just um, under, just over three percent on the day. Um, my target is still that one thirty two level. Um, still, you know, comfortable. I entered back uh, around seventy five fifty. That was my entry somewhere here. Um, so yeah, um, and I can't, um, I, I can't add into this position. Um, ordinarily, I would have added into this position position on that break there uh but i can't do that uh because of my rules man i'm a rules uh man let me put back all my exponential moving average uh let's get rid of this for now my 30 week exponential moving average hasn't crossed the um 60 week exponential moving average signaling that change in direction on um the particular security um so for now i'm just adjusting my stop accordingly and i'm not rushing into um uh adding into this position just as uh, just as yet but as as though those two moving averages cross i'll then start to add into um the position next on the list is mr price had a stonking day on the day today uh as it broke through the handle and then the neckline of the the cup and handle uh formation there 
or head and shoulders or that bullish divergence. Or, there's 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 a fair bit of wind on this trade. However, you slice it, you know, nice head and shoulders as you can see, a cup and handle, a bull flag, resistance breakout. You know, there's a bunch of people looking at Mr. Price at the minute, and I, you know, a, a lot of them are looking um, are probably being bullish. Um, so my target at Mr. on Mr. Price is that 250. Um, beautiful lot of wind at the, at the back. I actually entered just before the market closed today. Typically, I enter in the morning, but today I had a little bit of time as I was preparing for today's video. Um, so we had we had the breakthrough today. Target 250 stop. Uh, one yeah around that 154 ish level. That's where my stop is below that. Um, um, below that handle of the cup and handle it's gonna take it's, it's gonna take a while to to get to 250 but i'm young and i'm patient next on my list is monday um the cfd pricing is actually cro uh, closed green on today um so it, it did actually break but my initial position is still underwater so as as it breaks breaks through um, that position I'll add into the position with a stop below the the low of the flag around to 353 uh, around there and my target remains that 427 level next is real buffo king uh, platinum real buffo king found some heavy resistance around that 76 um, 76 rand level and um, the there were a few there was some huge sellers there uh but we finally broke uh, uh, uh broke through that level today um looks like the sellers have run out of stocks to sell um the share looking good um on on on, on the day next is discovery so i had so if if you remember um you know i did we did look at at discovery on the weekly chart on monday um, looking for a breakthrough, the the uh, the one thirty four level. Um, we did break through it here, came back, closed below it. Now I'm looking for a break again, and my target, my minimum target for now is um, that one fifty seven level. However, that one seventy eight level is also still my target so as we break through that 157 I'll probably add into the position if i'm in uh if i'm in the trade as you can see 30 is above the 60 so we're good and if you put back the 200 day exponential moving average behind us so even better um so yeah i'm looking to go long on discovery next on the list is kumba nice falling wedge uh broke today uh tiny 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 break so i'm looking to get into this position with a stop below the low of the wedge around that 578 ish or, or you know there, there's about um target the high of the wedge around 680 uh yeah around 680 decent risk reward there um you know trend we in the direction of the weekly trend that's good 200 day exponential moving average world behind us um so yeah uh kumba looking good looking good up um two and a quarter of a percent today another trade that i'm in uh is coronation i entered as it broke through there um i added as it broke through Okay, let me just get rid of all these drawings. Um, I, I added, I added as it broke through um, that resistance there. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you know, it was up four percent on the day. Coronation looks good, man. Coron and recently um, changed direction, and today came with a little bit of volume. About one point two three five million shares were were uh, uh, were were traded today so looking looking good on uh coronation fund managers last on my list is klenko beautiful uh, uh bull flag waiting for a break through that flag there um target height of um 60 bucks and some change 
but possibly higher, possibly higher. And I'm, you know, I'm pondering removing targets altogether on my trades and trail my stop comes with a huge, huge risk on um, giving up a, a, a bit of the upside. But when you when you when you get it right, man, it can be very, 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 very um, uh, rewarding. So considering um, not putting target um, necessarily, but it's for now. For now, I have my my, my take profits level in places. I enter positions. Um, Breast reward. I like two to one. More is better, but um, two to one is a, is a is a minimum. And when I'm when I'm right and I get a second signal, I would add into the position, increasing that reward side of things without necessarily increasing the risk. So that's it for today's video. Do get down uh, on the comment section down below. Um, let me know some of the thoughts that you have on the charts that we looked at today. Some of the charts that you are looking at today, and also, man, some of the charts that you wish you wish for me to look at. Um, check you tomorrow on Village Twitter Thoughts. Check you next time. Cheers.